over and pushed into the woods. So I had to, you know, get my justice there. Otherwise, I would have gone insane. But stealing kind of kept me sane, you know, like, uh, we're doing such a great job, probably. Patch on the back, you know, get your shit back. Because this is the problem. Like, uh, the employer uh, works on a different level than you. And, uh, there's one, there was one guy, and he was trying to emphasize. This really helped the whole, whole situation, you know. Uh, you will see, there's no real fix of the whole situation. You should, like, seriously. If you want the proper business, either. Now, this sounds, this sounds radical, but there is really no other way. Either 50% of your uh, employees are controlling other employees, or here's the easier part to treat them good, show them everything properly, and why it is necessary to work slow and efficient, good, better, you know. And if somebody gets treated bad, they should be able to communicate this. And when somebody uh, speaks out this mistreating, they should get compensated in one way or the other. You know? And as a matter of fact, it doesn't matter where you are, where the employee stands. Uh, like 99% of those jobs are not really being seen above the water, especially with my calculations right now. I love this when I do my basic calculation before I do something. You know? Said like 20k easy goal if we calculate with this stuff and it didn't even pack up the big numbers. Now looking at it, January, I'm saying more like wow, it might take two or three more years. But the main goal this year is mango. So it sounds like mango. And if you're mango, I have to think about this guy must be like uh, mango on the fork. Mango on the fork, you know. And uh, when I look at this sort of go, it's way out of proportion. But the problem is the more you save them, the more you kind of depend on this sort of money, the more the government will, you know, take from you. So there is no easy way out, so to say. Because if I earn too much, I'll have to deploy it immediately. Not without, you have to earn much more to contain this level of so to say, uh, keeping too much money around in this very country can uh, kind of get punished. You know? but, uh, the goal is sort of to bring you to the equilibrium of zero euros, you know. They try, they try not to bring you off too much, but it all, also won't make you uh, have your rich. What they're doing is keep you on the zero level, so you will always have zero euros in your bank. I know this sounds like, oh, the big man is pulling you down, but you know what I mean. Especially when you live uh, right here. It's always a zero sum. And, uh, setting at least 20k, okay, I won't be able to reach this fucking goal. It would have been too nice. And too beautiful. Uh, not in this world. Dream on, buddy. You know? Not in this very world. Just let me get some fresh air. I always prefer to get uh, a lot of hot air, but I get way too hot, then I like to keep it down a little bit. Yeah, so, let's put up uh, the window. So, as I was saying, basically, uh, the zero sum game is working like this. I know there are exceptions, and it's your goal in life, sort of. To, 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 to keep doing what you're doing, what makes you happy, you know, get rich. Money is a side factor, side hustle. But when you're poor, you can't pay your fucking bills, you know, and you owe a lot of friends' money and some other friends borrow money from you. You know, it's always this downward spiral, man. I mean, you, I know you're my friend, but uh, at some point, this shit gotta end, man. Get your fucking life together. Keep uh, doing proper stuff, like, don't fuck it up this bad. How could you fucking fuck it up this bad, man? Like, seriously. So, all of this stuff happened. Then this one working buddy, it's kind of a love-hate situation, you know? The first
first beginning is all like rough, like, <laughs> I know better, man. <laughs> I don't have to watch my back because I got like two eyes in the front and the back, <laughs> man. You know, kind of outsmarted. But he also has moments of insight. And after these, uh, it took like, let's say, what is it now? October, January? Sort of three months. But effectively, like two months. Working with him, like one month. Let's say one month. One month I kind of, you know, grew closer to him. And here's the funny thing. I don't think this is because he became a nicer person. No, I think this is more because uh, both sides kind of adapt, you know? When one person is an asshole, or both per people are an asshole, I think uh, if they're not over assholey, you know what I'm getting at? If they're not too over assholey, they sort of try to find a middle ground, so they both adapt to become more nice to each other. Doesn't mean the character or persona changes per se, but uh, these both, you know, entities, they sort of can lie with each other more. And uh, work together more teamwork, sort of psychology like stuff. And uh, I think this happened here. And uh, after all, this guy's not too bad. Uh, I like certain aspects of him, but there are other aspects, you know, like always this <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Uh, either I pass or I don't pass. <laughs> I make a lot of errors, man. But who cares, you know, life goes on. <laughs> no, sort of, life doesn't go on from there. There's always like, uh, what is it, what is it, branches, branches in this multi, multiverse sort of, it all trickles down to this destiny or foreboding shit, or do you have like a choice in what you're doing, or is the program just running its course, which also leads sort of to destiny, destiny always sounds so fucking like, uh, Black magic, magician, shit. You know, like, uh, I fucking hate this stuff. And uh, what I'm getting here is that uh, maybe this is some sort of code running for us, you know? Maybe just uh, a certain part in the script says, now I have to play record to record this video. Now I have to ad lib, in quotation, ad lib. What my thoughts are at the moment. Yeah. This whole fucking week went on and on and on. And then I got another week full of learning stuff. And the problem is, because there's no routine, you know, I have a, it's very easy for me to get a routine and then time like this, you know, very fast, bam, bam, bam. But when there's so much new changing stuff, time drags on, it makes it impossible for me to move sort of forward, fast and this kind of direction. Doesn't matter if I like it or not, so far I've been treated very good, I can't complain about that fact from regards to the, these jobs, but things might change and I might get fucked, like really a lot. When it comes to this uh, very date in the near future, less than nine months from now, almost eight months now, I have to think about the fact that I should not reach these fucking 20k because it's ridiculous. I just want my fucking freedom sort of back at any cost. If it means that I only saved up 5k, let's hope it's 5k. Let's hope it's not less than 5k. Seriously, man, this would suck. I have nine, less than nine months. And I have 3k to pay. 2k of debt equals 5k minus. And I want uh, 20k plus. This means 25k of shit. Of, of money, you know? I don't wanna be a rich fucking guy because uh, then you get paranoid about your money. And it's also a temporary state of happiness. Because I'm also aware of this fact once you get rich, you're uh, like happy for one day, two day, a week, and then the shit drops, the act drops. I want to sustain this sort of high, not just in money, but in time in general. I seriously cherish time so much. With every second that passes more, so that, you know, you need this kind of awakening, uh, snipping with your fingers. And, uh, but I have to grind through all the shit, and it's not otherwise possible, uh, but through fire, um, 
mind-numbing shit that poisons your brain. That's what I'm getting at. I sort of have to find a beautiful middle space between a mental standby and fully conscious and aware and not rotting at this job or any job ever and seeing and seizing opportunities and yada 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 blah 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 motivational speech insert motivational quotes yeah that is sort of it <laughs>